everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. Today we have a very special video for you all. We have been blessed with this exclusive first look into one of Phuket's finest property with 10 bedrooms, four of them being master bedrooms, sat on 11,000 square meters of beachfront land hidden away in a private community on the East Coast. This villa is spread out on three different levels with 3,845 square meters meters of living space. This is also listed with C property at 18 million US dollars. Can't wait to show you guys around. Keep on watching. Welcome to the villa. We have just walked past this huge wooden double doors that brings us straight into the living room area. This is where you welcome your guests. This is the first thing you see when you walk into this home. We've got super high ceilings. These windows that go from floor to ceiling, the double height just makes it so, so grand, so luxurious. These columns that are huge, they go all the way up, kind of giving us a little bit of a church feel, but only because of how grand it is. You would not expect this to be a home, but it is with 10 bedrooms. This is the money shot right here. We're looking Looking out onto Pangna Bay, I love the decor in here. It seems very, very calming, um, and you're just, you know, alone in your own home. Everything is calm. You've got water features all over the place, and in the first top floor, guys, there's a lot to go through, so stay tuned. But on the top floor, obviously, we walk into this beautiful welcome area. On my right, we have a TV room that can be separated by these sliding doors, and they are all kind of connected into one which is really really nice through here we enter into the more informal living room area because there is a TV so this could be the family room as well but guys it's honestly I'm speechless like we are wrapped around by nature and sea view the landscaping in this compound is next level I've never seen anything so detailed so well kept um, I mean all the flowers I mean the gardening really just makes the home feel so homey um, and also this living room space has its own sliding doors that walks us out onto the pool deck we will get to that later but we're gonna go across the living room space once again and check out the kitchen we have made it to the kitchen and both of these rooms are separated by the sliding door right here so you can give that separation if you want but it does it's nice to have that flow it's an easy flow from you know walking into the home you have your living space now your dining room table this is insane guys this table is so so beautiful it's so big just speaks to the whole home itself very grand very luxurious everything you have never seen before um, i also like that they've added a touch of color by these seats right here it's almost like the color of the ocean which is just beautiful because out there is the beautiful ocean where you see Pangna Bay. This light fixtures that goes all across we've also got some decorative pieces here guys just looking at this what is this? This is like a, a vase, but it looks like a pineapple, but also like an octopus at the same time. It's really strange, but it works so well with this home. And across the dining room space, we have your Western kitchen. So this is just the show kitchen, guys. There are three different kitchens in this villa. That's just mind blowing. So this is, you know, the show kitchen, which you want show to show to your guests or just make a couple drinks, um, make your breakfast. But through these doors, there's another Western kitchen as well as a whole Thai kitchen where you get down and dirty and just make the best Thai food 
whatever to give you the dining experience in your own home it also has access to the whole maids quarter and they have their own access from outside of the home so it's basically a whole home in there inside your own villa it's insane now across here obviously we've got these sliding doors that open up at the end we've also got a powder room as well as this door that can take you guys down onto the lower level but first we're gonna check out the deck let's go we have made it onto the beautiful panoramic pool deck. It's honestly so, so breathtaking. I've just walked right out of the living room space and this is what you get for your outdoor living area. We have this 23 by eight meter swimming pool that is just so, so beautiful. I love the tiles that they use. It's a little bit darker, gives it a very sleek and nice modern touch to it. We've got these palm trees over here giving us some nice shading and along the swimming pool we've got some sun beds for you to tan as well as in front there there's actually a whole separate section right there just past the green patch another little wooden deck out there with a reflective pond we've got the glass fence that wraps around that does not obstruct the view whatsoever we have an incredible day out today looking out onto Pangna Bay and on either sides of the swimming pool we've got some other little spots to hang out so let's first go to the left side which is the sala now right behind me we've got the barbecue which is perfect because just up here we have a nice little pavilion for an outdoor dining experience we have a nice shaded area here with a spinning wooden table which is perfect for having dinner with your family it's also close to the kitchen as well as the barbecue space so everything is on this side not having to take too long to get to the outdoor pavilion here also this spot has its own little like yard basically it's insane this whole rooftop deck is is really so beautiful just this pavilion right here has its own grass patch right here looking out onto the ocean it's so so beautiful it's literally endless like the mountains that you see it's it's such a beautiful sight and also the sun rises up from here so i can only imagine it in the mornings like i would love to wake up to something like this but now let's jump onto the other side of the pool and check out what else is there. Now on the other side of the swimming pool, we have another sunken in wooden deck right here surrounded by a reflective pond and also the swimming pool doubles as this waterfall giving us a nice ambience as well as this beautiful view in front of us this honestly is such a perfect space to hang out in the evening have a nice cocktail by the end of the night we're also surrounded by really tall trees all around giving us really nice private privacy from the rest and you just feel so Included. You can also see all the way down onto your private beach on the bottom floor. Also, guys, looking back into this villa, it's absolutely stunning. You can see the different levels of the pool deck. It's honestly an artwork and how intricate and detailed everything is. Also, the shape of the roof, it's iconic on its own. We've also toured a couple places here in Yamu. So if you guys know this shape, just screams luxury and it's iconic for you know on this island honestly now guys as I mentioned the swimming pool doubles as a waterfall but it doesn't just end here it goes all the way down to the bottom floor so let's go and check out where this waterfall leads us to We've made it to the second level. This door right here is actually the other access into the home that takes you straight into the maid's quarter that is right behind there. You can also park your car that way, but this is where it leads us to. I love this space so much. It feels so, so zen. So this level has one, two, three, 
I believe seven bedrooms on this floor only. It's insane, guys. So we've got some nice couches right here, just a nice place to chill and sit at. It feels so zen, as I mentioned before. We've also got this sunlight coming from these panels from up above. Also, we're gonna take these floating steps out onto the first two guest bedrooms. Just past these floating steps right here, we're gonna check out the guest bedroom. Now this guest bedroom is a little separate from the main building. It's kind of like a guest home because we're out in the nature. It's surrounded by beautiful greenery. It's separated from the main building. And I feel like this would be the perfect spot to host um, when your guests are over. There are two bedrooms here. We're gonna just show you guys one of it. It's completely the same. Um, it is a beautiful guest bedroom. We've got a wooden frame for the bed right here. Also this textured cream wall behind. The floating lamp that hangs from above is so, so beautiful. It reflects a nice warm light into the room. We've got wooden built-ins right here. The bathroom through, through the back. I love how it's just a glass panel you can see through. It just opens up this um, guest bedroom. Also, this guest bedroom has a beautiful garden. It's absolutely incredible. It has a nice little terrace right here with some uh, spots to sit at, chill at the morning, have a nice cup of coffee um, when your guests are over. And guys, the landscaping in this place is incredible. Like the outdoor pathway all the way down onto the beach. It is so, so serene, so peaceful. I could just imagine walking here every single day. It feels like I'm in like a, a park in Europe or something. It's incredible. Now, I wanna take you guys back into the main building and check out the other bedrooms. We're back in the main building and honestly, I feel like I'm in a five-star resort. I love the outdoor, kind of blending into the indoor living area. And as I mentioned before, the waterfall that came from the swimming pool. I mean, this is next level. I've never seen anything this extravagant in a villa before. I mean, this waterfall, I feel like I'm in a five-star resort. It's incredible. So as I mentioned before, on this floor, it's all bedrooms. Um, the waterfall goes all the way down onto the bottom floor. So it's like a three level waterfall. It's, in it's incredible. It gives such a nice ambience to it. This is still in an outdoor space, but it is covered. So even when it's raining, it's completely fine. But now on this end of the second level, we're gonna check out the first master bedroom. In the first master bedroom, it is such a big space. We have this lifted um, bed frame right here that is so, so beautiful. Um, also, the TV lifts up. You can also have it all the way hidden with a touch of a button. It goes all the way under the uh, bed, basically, which is crazy. And now, just down a couple steps, it also doubles as this built-in sofa seating area right here. This is such a nice place to just lounge at. We've got the sliding doors that open up onto the balcony that looks out onto the ocean as well as the beautiful gardening that is going on right now. The pathway that takes us all the way down onto the beach. Looking back into this room the lighting is so so special we've got cove lighting all around as well as centered here where the bed is which is perfect this little artwork right here this 3d artwork it just looks so futuristic i love the gold touch to it i think it matches really well with you know the furniture in here with the hardwood the little um yellow throw pillows as well now in the back here we have a walk-in closet. Also, all these built-ins are just so detailed. Like, there's a purpose for everything. There's where you hang your bags, your long pants, literally your shoes, a vanity space right here, beautiful mirror with a gold frame around it. And then through here is the master ensuite. Into the master ensuite, we've got marble sinks this mirror that kind of like pulls forward also doubles as a cabinet space. Also behind here, guys, look at this. Oh, hello. 
Um, I love the hanging light fixture here with the warm light. At the end, right behind you guys is a sunken in bathtub with jets as well. And through this partition wall, we have the waterfall shower double. So for his and hers. Also another really cool feature with just a touch of a button. This opens up. Now let's go back into the hallway and check out the guest bedrooms. Now on this level, we've got four guest bedrooms that faces towards the ocean. I'm passing one right now. This one has a connecting bathroom to the second door right here. Also, when you're walking in, you have this beautiful waterfall, nice natural sunlight coming from above. We're gonna walk into this one. Now in this guest bedroom, right past the door, we've got the built-in closet right here with a nice gold handle, beautiful touch, cabinet space with a TV on front. It's kind of in its own little nook. Um, the bed is right here, again, with the wooden headboard. It's got really smooth curves and like the edges are curved down. It doesn't feel too like harsh, really, really beautiful. And I love how it's that contrast with the hard wood, but they, making it, they make it look very soft and smooth at the same time. Through here is the ensuite. Also, you can see the shower through here. You can also put the blinds down if you're not into that. Um, it has the stunning view of Pangna Bay all around. We've got the sliding doors that open up. They have the glass fence right here, so you just, you know, don't tip over, but it's not obstructing the view whatsoever. This one is also conjoined, conjoined. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is, wait, that is a word. This one is also joined into the next guest bedroom. This is more of a kid's bedroom because we've got two twin beds, um, a nice colorful carpet in the front, as well as a balcony that actually opens up and has a whole different point of view. You can look all the way down onto the end of Yamu. Behind the headboard here doubles as a working station. On the back wall, we've got the closet. And guys, a really cool touch is this wall right here. They've carved in um, and painted it green. It looks very, very cool. And it's like a nice little reading nook how cute like it feels so so cozy and sweet also they've cut out another two circle right there maybe you can put some books there um the tv is hanging from the ceiling which is great so there's no like stand or whatsoever and <laughs> she just hit her head <laughs> okay and through here is the bathroom. There are double sinks, obviously for two people that are gonna be staying here with the twin bed. Now, let's go back out, see what else is there for us, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the second master bedroom, they've kept it quite similar throughout all the masters with this elevated bed frame right here. Just a couple steps down, we have this built-in sofa that's looking out towards the beautiful ocean. Also has a nice little balcony. You can look all the way down onto the beachfront as well as the different levels of your yard, which is just insane. This makes me feel like I'm in Bali a little bit. Um, now, let's go back into the room. Behind there, we've got the built-in walk-in closet as well as a vanity space and the ensuite onto my right. Cue inserts. You got the idea. Now, let's go down a couple more steps. Guys, can you believe it? The third master bedroom. This one is a little bit different than the other master bedrooms that we've seen. It's not completely on like a, pa a platform, but it is higher raised and you've got this these steps that take you down onto the beautiful terrace. And instead of the walk-in closet, they've got the built-ins all through the back wall here, still um, keeping the vanities. So there's a vanity space on either sides, which is beautiful. Onto my right is the master ensuite, double sinks, um, a single standing bathtub looking out onto the ocean, just incredible. Now, let's go check out what amenities they have to keep you entertained here. 
We have finally made it to the end of the waterfall. How beautiful. Now down this hallway, we've got a lot of different doors that we can go through. The first one is an at-home gym. So this floor is all about your entertainment. Um, fully equipped, the dumbbells, mirror panels all throughout that wall. We've got treadmill as well as this machine right here. This is honestly one of my favorite machines. <sighs> Do you guys see that back muscle? Okay. Anyways, I actually really like this machine. I have it at home. You can use with so many different body parts. Anyways, next up. Out onto the terrace. This, even the gym guys, the gym has its own beautiful view, has a terrace, and this terrace actually connects into another room and I'm very very excited about this room this I would say is the party room this is where you entertain your guests we've got this beautiful blue pool table right here silk padded cabinet space all through the back to hide all your games your card games whatever your friends like to play this is such a cool thing to have for entertaining your guests on the other side here Another living room space, more like a TV lounging area. You can watch your sports on here, watch, you know, your favorite TV shows. And y'all ain't ready. We've got a karaoke machine. Hit it. Are you ready for a concert? Can't you see? I'm calling a guy like you. She wear one thing. It's dangerous. I'm calling. There's no one to ring. I can't wait. I need a thing. Baby, give me it. You're dangerous. I'm loving it. Okay, that is all that you are getting. That is way too much on this YouTube. You need to cut some of that stuff out. Okay, we are gonna head into the next room over. The third door down the hallway is a spa room. We've got two massage beds right here. The lights can also be dimmed down, which is perfect. Just however long you hold the light for is, you know, whatever, you guys get it. You just dim down the lights by there. Um, this also has direct access out onto the garden, which takes us down onto the beachfront by this beautiful, gorgeous pathway. Through here, we've got a really cool marble single standing um, sink. It's just incredible, as well as a shower. Once you get finished with a massage, take a shower right here. Um, yeah, beautiful, everything you have. Uh, in your own home, you can literally stay here as if you were living in your own five-star resort and never having to leave, which is, that's what you're into, this is definitely the one for you. Now, on this floor, there's actually one last master bedroom. That way. Right after the spa room, we've got the guest bathroom right here, as well as the stairs up all the way onto the top floor. But at the end of this level, we have the last fourth master bedroom. Um, this is exactly the same as we toured before. It's not, it doesn't have that elevated um, bed frame, but it still is elevated by the platform. And this one has a stunning view out onto the garden, which gives us straight access onto the pathway down to the beach, which I'm gonna go meet you guys there next. See you guys at the beach, bye. Guys, we have finally made it out onto the garden. This pathway actually is connected to all the third floor um, amenities that we checked out. So it actually goes all the way up onto the guest bedroom that is a little bit separate from the main building. It is such a beautiful walk. Before we head all the way down onto the beach, there's actually a little pit stop that we're gonna make and it's just through here. We have this beautiful like outdoor chilling area. Um, it's also kind of a kitchen at the same time so you can you know, stock it up with snacks, stock it up with sodas and waters and stuff like that. And just have a nice little chill and like a little walk break before you get all the way down to the bottom because this land plot is huge. Like it's, 
it literally feels like I'm at a park. It's really incredible. And also there's a side path that takes us all the way down right from the entrance of the home all the way up top where the car park is so you can actually access it without going through the home as well. But yeah, this is a nice little chill area. Now we're gonna walk all the way down to the bottom. Hello! Doesn't this feel like I'm in Bali? It's incredible, like the layers to this whole landscape is just so, so gorgeous. The tall coconut trees, um, these bushes that are lined and cut so perfectly, the incredible view. While we're walking down, there's also little bits of art uh, statues out in the garden which is so nice to look at and yeah it feels so serene i love walking down from all the way up to the bottom floor and we're just halfway there <laughs> see you guys there we have made it all the way down to the bottom it was such a beautiful walk we have the beautiful stone wall behind me and here we enter into kind of like a whole different section of the home, a nice little chill out area with its own swimming pool. On my left here is a whole separate building just for storage where they put in all the kayaks, all the paddle boards, just the fun stuff you can do in the water. And through here we have a nice little aircon space so if you do want to have you know the flexibility of being outdoors and indoors at the same time we can shut all the doors or open them open them up um, a nice little bar section through the back here i love the choice of wood that they've used as well as the countertop it is so so sleek so beautiful as you can see they've displayed all the drinks out for us so this would be the perfect spot to have like a nice cocktail um, beautiful hardwood floors walking into here a nice little seating arrangement I love the added touch of color in the carpet as well as you know the decor here and also the lampshade I mean this is just so beautiful I really love this lampshade and the fact that this is like a piece of wood um, Goes, everything is very very cohesive there's no TVs here which I really really like it's more of a nice chill spot you can have good conversations um, and all these sliding doors open up so this one actually opens up and you can jump into the swimming pool I love how they've added a nice small little swimming pool here right by the beach so once you get out of the salt water and you kind of want to cool down or like you know get rid of the salt water head into your own swimming pool. Um, out on this side, we're gonna go through and check out this yard, guys. Guys, these steps take us straight to this nice chill spot. This is honestly so, so cute. They have a nice fire going on. Well, it's not on right now, but it just feels so cool. It's, you're basically like in the grass. I love how, you know, they've incorporated this. We've got lights all around us. So once it's, you know, dark, um, you're surrounded by these mood tone lighting as well as the fire here. You can do s'mores by the end of the night with your kids there's even a little sand pit there I'm sure that is for practicing your golf swing in the sand and looking back into the home it's just magnificent it's really something I've, I've, I've never seen before just the levels of this place is incredible every single level you step down it's mind-blowing also this is right by the beach if you can't hear the water of the waves very very beautiful and yeah we have now completely actually finished the tour it was a long one because this is 11,000 square meters of land but let's go wrap it up See you at sunset. Bye. We have wrapped up this 18 million US dollar home. It is listed with C property and thank you so much for letting us tour it. Um, if you would like to know any more information about this gorgeous home, click the link in my description box below. It'll take you straight to the C property website. And if you enjoyed watching this video and taking a tour with me, like and subscribe. My name is Victoria and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.